Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, man, we got a special guest today. Definitely a dope interview. So y'all share this on Facebook and Twitter. Let's get it. Um, Fair play. What's good, family? Can you let them know uh, you already know man. your social media and let them know where you from, bro? Yeah, I'm from Chicago, man. Fair play, 2333. Um, Fair play, 2333. Underscore, yeah. So that's really it, man. F A I R P L A Y underscore twenty three thirty three. That's on all platforms. Dope, 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 bro. We gonna get to it, man. We gonna talk about the show. No time to play fair. And uh, before we get there, bro, like, uh, tell us, like, you know, how how did you even get in this space, bro? Like, far as uh, so really, you know, I got in the new movies. Go ahead. I got in the. I got into space through music, you know what I'm saying? I have been doing music for a minute and um, probably like the last five years, six years, somewhere up in there with the music. And um, I just started, one day I was headed to Chicago and I was just like, man, I think I can do a show. Because you know, when you're doing music, you only writing down stories of, you know, things you done been through, things you done saw, things you done heard, other people done said, you know what I'm saying? So. All that's all making the show is all making the show is just putting that same stuff together. I got you, I got you. So, like, um, mm -hmm. like when, when it came to the script and navigating these different parts and who's gonna play what, how did you come up with that, bro? Well, I mean, that part was kind of easy. So, what I ended up doing was the first thing I wanted to do, uh, shout out to my nephew, Khalid, man, free him, he's going through a little drama right now, but. Um, the first thing I wanted to do when I first started, I was like, you know what? I just want to get the people who naturally want to do it. So um, I got uh, Kalik. He played Leek on the show. I got 7 p.m. He played 7. Um, and then I got Lenny still balling. And I got myself. And I got one more person. I can't even remember the name right now, honestly. But uh, that's how I ended up doing it, man, because I wanted to get people who really wanted to do it and wanted to be dedicated. I ain't want to, like, uh, have to beat people over the head to try to uh, chase people down. And then once that ended up happening, right, it just organically started going. It was like 500 views and 1,000 and then 2,000. I'm like, oh, man, okay, this is this definitely going to work. You know what I'm saying? And even from the beginning, when I first wanted to start it, shout out my boy Jay Think Ill, I had called him on the fly like, hey, bro, I'm coming back in town. Um, and I need to, um, I want to shoot this show. I'm going to call it No Time to Play Fair. And he was like, man, that name, dope. He was like, I ain't never shot a show before, but we'll figure it out. And um, now we done figured it out. You know what I'm saying? The movie um, at 90,000 views, and it's only been out three months. And that's just off like word of the mouth, streets talking, stuff like that. And it's based out west mostly, but we do shoot on the east side. We shoot on the south side. So we shoot all through Chicago. Got you. And um, can you tell the people, like, because I know it started off as a series first, then you transitioned into a movie. What made you, you know, do that? Well, the first thing I wanted to do as far as, like, just starting it off like that, I wanted, I didn't know what it was going to be. You feel me? So I wanted to try to test it out. So when the first episode was only seven minutes, and I did that on purpose. I wanted it to be short. One, I only had a few actors that I was working with. But then, two, I wanted to give people something that they could look at quick and decide in the beginning, like, OK, I'm fucking with it or I'm not. You know, a lot of times you do stuff and if it's too long or if it take too long to draw out. A person might look at it and be like, man, this is taking too long to get to the action. I don't understand that. So even with that, though, I started it right off with a robbery scene. Somebody creeping into the house with a mask on. Um just you know just just to start it off with some action that people will see it and it instantly grab their attention oh no doubt no doubt and um so you going now you, you got the movie out right and then you transition back on into the series do you start the scenes off where the movie left off or where the series left off no nah, so um what we do with the series is basically the series episode one through six season one episode one through six and that go directly to the movie right so the movie is just the series put together 
um, with like some scenes that wasn't left in there. So if you look, you will see something that you didn't see the first time. You'll be like, oh, I didn't know that was in there. Ooh, when that happened, that type of stuff. Just to get them something exclusive if they watch the movie. But that's basically how I do. I, sh I shoot the series to give it out for the people who want to watch it day by day. You know what I'm saying? And then um, I get a movie to people who like to sit down and watch movies. And like I say, so when the movie dropped, I dropped the movie um, three months ago, like back in April or something like that, right? And soon as it soon as it hit in April, I'm watching it, and then it's just like I right, a uh, thousand views, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, like the first day, and I'm like, damn, this shit going crazy. I'm like, I knew it was gonna work, but I didn't know it was gonna work this fast as far as the movie go. No, I got you. I got you. And um, like, what direction are you taking the new season? Well, the new season, I'm just trying to um add a little more action to it and then close in some of the storylines in and inviting some new characters in. You know what I'm saying? So um I put a con I put a conscious effort this year to um I mean this new season to add a couple more uh familiar faces. Like, you know, I put the comedian Big Lowdown in there. That's one of my boys from the West Side. And then also I put this girl named Jazzy in there. Um she got like a lingerie line and different stuff like that. Um, she do like lashes, but she also got like a decent following on Facebook. And, you know, people really gravitate to her. So I feel like that's going. And I just want to put representations of different type of people in there. You know what I'm saying? When you look when you look at No Time to Play Fair, you're going to definitely be able to look at it and say, oh, bro, remind me of this person I know. Oh, that person remind me of how I used to be. Well, that person remind me of what I'm going through right now. And that's how I want it to be. I want everybody to feel like they represent it in that, um, just in the way it go, you know? Oh, that's dope. That's dope. And I, I did notice that you had some familiar faces in there, um, you know, like the comedian low down. Like, was it like you already had a relationship with these people you saying, right? Well, yeah. So um, low down, he from the West side, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the West side originally too. So um, me and him had a mutual friend. He actually played black on the show. You know what I'm saying? And he go by short fat fella. He also a comedian as well. Super funny guy. But he black on the show. No time to play fair. So what I ended up doing was I had called him one night and I was like, hey, man, low down. He funny, bro. Uh, uh, I know him. He was like, yeah, you probably know him. He was like, man, that's my man. He was like, I'm finna connect y'all right now. So he hung up. And then within like two minutes, he gave me lowdown number. You know what I'm saying? So when I hit lowdown up, we started talking. And then from there, I was just like, all right, let's get some work done. And so we ended up like putting a skit together, the skit where uh, when a person tapped you every time you talk. So we did that and we did another one about the, like playing a video game. And so from there, I was just like, man, this is working so good that i'm just gonna stick with the scripts because the scripts i mean the skits is just like another part of acting anyway you know what i'm saying no and doubt no doubt that's dope that's really how it materialized and so as far as yeah, like the schedule like we um, had to get that done as far as the scheduling like you know for the people that's looking forward to the episodes with what type of schedule is it like weekly is it monthly like um how often do you drop an episode mm -hmm. So really, I be trying to drop it like every month. You know what I'm saying? I like to give it a chance to breathe, give people a chance to catch up on it and see it. Um, and that give me a time to like be back and forth in Chicago because, you know, I'm between Chicago and Florida. You know what I'm saying? So that give me enough time to move around and get the episode shot and back. And actually this week, episode two will be dropping. You know what I'm saying? So episode two going to be called Questions. And if y'all watched episode one of No Time to Play Fair, Y'all know that, you know, um, the character in the actual show, Black, um, he had ended up dropping the body and he had disposed of it. So now it's a dude who from around the area who grew up around there, but he left and went to be a detective, went to a police academy and don't nobody know it. So he back around the hood under the pretenses is just he's somebody who went away and came back, but he a detective. So he around asking a bunch of questions, trying to figure out what's going on but you know people suspicious to him but 
at this point, don't nobody know what's going on. You feel me? It's just so it's a lot deeper than that and a lot more stuff that happened throughout that episode. But that's just to give y'all a, a tease of what's going on. Dope, dope, dope. And um, like far as like the, the, the music, do you add music into like you add music into the different episodes? Yeah, so I do add music into the episodes. And then basically, so um, I got this song I ended up doing. Um, shout out Gilly the Kid, man. I ended up getting him to do um, something for me on the song called Voyage. And I put that on there and then I put Split It Up with me and Leak Money. So basically, I do like 50 Cent do. You know, I score it with my own music because we making that music that represent that same vibe and that same feel. You know what I'm saying? It's a street movie and we put street music in it. So it represents that vibe. And um, artists out there who may see this, if y'all got some music that's dope, you know, send it over to us. Uh, um, reach out to me on Instagram and um, Fair Play 20, um, Fair Play underscore 2333. And if it's dope, man, we can get you and maybe one of the scenes or we can put it as an outro. We always looking for music. You know, this this was really started to um, because I want to do movies, but also just to get an opportunity to the people from my hood and the people that I know. But also through that, I've been able to give opportunities to different people from the cities to be in the show. And um, for, for me, I, I think that you should use the show as a platform to show yourself but also have something else going on so you can get your name out there. So if you rapping, like, like so I got a little bro named Yo Blow. His name on the show is Yo Blow because that's his rap name. So I want people to be able to see Yo Blow and connect it to the music. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all a form of entertainment. So I just try to keep their character within the realm of what their music like. As far as like the actors, like the people that's not into music, but say they want to be on the show, is it the same setup? Contact you behind the scenes to uh, possibly get a role yeah, on the you show? Contact, yeah, just contact me behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? And um, what, what I need the actors to do is I had them send me like three different scenes where they act in something now dramatic because I want to make sure that you there. You know, sometimes people will see something that's going on and they'll say, oh, this is a hot show or this is a hot internet series. Let me get a part of it, but they not really dedicated to it or they really don't have the skills. So I just want to know that you really going to be dedicated and you really going to do it. But I mean, for me, like I say, it's about bringing everybody together because we didn't shot scenes on the West side. We didn't shot scenes with people from the South side. Um, we got a blogger that we not going to announce yet, but he going to be a pivotal part of the show and he pretty big um with the blogs in on youtube so millions of views and i think he gonna add something real huge to the show that's gonna be another element that i've never seen nobody doing a movie so i don't want to give it away but it's gonna be dope 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 bro and um before we get up out of here is there anything you want to leave us with um not really too much man i just want people to check out no time to play fair it's um on youtube it's no time to play fair chicago hood movie right now it's at um a little over 90k views you know i think it's at like uh 90 90,600 views so closing in on 91,000 um no time to play fair man that's what we just trying to push um no time to play fair the movie uh part 2 will be out probably by the winter no not probably by the winter it'll be out so we'll have part part two of the movie out and we just gonna continue to build on this and like i say um the music is there fair play 2333 on all platforms but more so i wanted to get out here to tell y'all about the movie because the movie and the skits is what's working and so i don't want to be that person who the people telling me Oh, we fuck with the movie. We fuck with the movie. But all I keep telling them about is, oh, listen to the music. Because you know how this go, bro. Once one thing pop off, everything right. else, they start being re real receptive to everything else. So for me, it's just about continuing to give the people what they want. And that's the skits and the movies and the show. Dope, dope, bro. I appreciate you blessing the platform, man, coming on, speaking on the movie. We definitely want to uh, support it. Everybody out there, man, y'all go type that in, man. No time to play fair, man. And uh, Fair Play 2333, man, on all major platforms. He said Fair Play underscore 
2333 on uh, Instagram. So if y'all want to get in tune with them, far as you know, getting a role on the show, far as shooting them some music that you think that could help the show, you know, saying so y'all get that done, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, I appreciate you having me on the platform, man. You know, I done I don't watch the platform come from having like I think maybe fifteen thousand when I first mm-hmm. got in tune with it. Now you in the seventy five thousand, seventy six thousand, probably close to eighty. Honestly, I can't remember yeah, the exact number, 80. but I know man. Just hit 80. Yeah, see eighty, and only gonna continue to be better because you get that authentic news. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to fit in. You ain't trying to lie. You ain't trying to um clickbait the statuses and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you actually having me on the show so we can continue to try to build through this. Now let's build, bro. Let's work. Salute. All right, bro. Appreciate you having me on.